and fellow beer friends, men and women of good will and of good conscience, this is Radio Biafra Live Presentation on this evening of the 13th of April 2019. We are live from London. I'm reaching you wherever you are on this planet Earth, from east to west, from north to south, from the upland and for the coastal regions of Biafra land. We are gathering in the name of the Most High God, Chukwokike. He who sees the secret and the open, the most omnipresent, omnipotent, the mighty one in battle in whose name we are doing everything we are doing. We thank him for the lives of every hardcore IPOB family members. We thank him for the lives of his servants, the indefatigable, the unstoppable, the irrepressible, the sagacious, charismatic leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazinam the Kanu. May the peace and favor of the Most High God continue to be upon each and every family of IPOB and the family of Nam the Kanu, his household, and every man and woman of goodwill. Because you know what? Our enemies appreciate in their quiet time the enormity, the potency of IPOB and what IPOB stands for. Truth, justice, and equity. That is why they are scampering for safety at each and every moment that we confront them. We are the children of light. When we tell you this, let nobody doubt it. The revelations coming out from the contraption called Nigeria remain pointers to the authenticity of IPOB and under the leadership of Mazen Namdi Khan. We are everywhere on this planet Earth, and you should be proud of whom you are. We thank the Most High God for this. And we urge him to continue to envelop each and every one of us with his presence, with his protection, to go before us, to go beside us, to go behind us, to continue to incapacitate our enemies, whatever they are, whether they are operating in the air, on the sea, or on the land. May their evil plots turn around and destroy them. May the sword that they are using against the children of God, the indigenous people of Biafra families, both in Biafra land and around the world, turn around and destroy all of them. May he continue to set confusion into their camps, that they shall continue to speak in hostile, antithetical, divergent languages among themselves, and that they will never agree. Eventually, may that their evil plot we are praying against collapse on top of them, that they will never survive it. We ask you, the Most High God, we implore you to remember your promises. The reason why we are on this platform, the reason why you have set us on this improbable journey to restoration, that the land of Biafra shall be restored in our lifetime, that the rest of humanity will bear witness to it, and that these are enemies will be of your name. Give us victory and take the glory. Allow us to stand on it when fully restored, to praise your name in a new symbolic covenant that will span generations of Biafrans to come. To this we say amen and amen and amen. He say, he say, he say. My name is Witam Efo. I am the deputy leader of indigenous people of Biafra, proudly standing in for our great Lamazin Nam the Kanu. The Colossus, the Enigma, and the Record of our time, when we describe him this way, some charlatans, men who do not have insights, Canal human beings, mortals will not understand it. This is a man who courageously stood in the gap for billions of people, including those who are castigating him, and effectively fought the most abominable contraption called Nigeria and the forces behind it to a standstill. Of course, with the assistance, with the support, with the loyalty 
of the entire IPV family members, especially those in Biafra land in a very special way, I must say, and those around the world. We urge you to remain focused and resolute because we are on course for victory. The zoo called Nigeria is in total confusion. Our citizens are running health as capital, we continue to remind you. And we are telling them that the only thing that can compensate for the ultimate sacrifice that the people of Biafra had made and also all those hapless indigenous populations murdered in cold blood. The only price to pay is that Biafra is restored. That is the only reason why they will be exonerated or spared. Otherwise, the zoo is heading into calamitous end. It's just a matter of time. From the northern part of the zoo called Nigeria to the west and to the east, it is all manner of ugly stories coming up every day. Indigenous people of Biafra family members have been subjected to all manner of ethnic cleansing, genocide, crime against humanity, all manner of abduction, extrajudicial killings, extrajudicial incarceration, torture, inhuman and degrading treatment, and the rest of this Nigeria. And one Nigerian is, I must say, had been clapping and jubilating over the plight of the indigenous people of Biafra, who in an extraordinary courageous circumstances stood their ground that evil is evil and challenged it at all costs. Today, those who were clapping, clapping, jubilating, popping champagne, that their brothers have continued to kill and maim and destroy the people of Biafra. Are now bearing the brunt. The weapon that they are using against us, they are now turning it against themselves. And you know what? This is not a secret. It's not a secret. We are telling them they can, this is a situation that they cannot control. Nemesis has spiritual dimension in such a way that when it is unfolding, even the victim or the perpetrator will have no control over it. The Fulanese have been killing our people. They have been maiming. They have been destroying lives. People from Benue, Middle Belt, people from different parts of the Mohammedan Emirate of the world or North, and even the Yorubas were all jubilating. The zoo is going to destroy itself, and none of you will be spared. We warned you that it is IPOB today, tomorrow, none of you will be spared. Those weapons you have been using against IPOB, against the people of Biafra, you are going to use against, against yourselves. More importantly, the prophecies of doom and calamity put forward more importantly, renewed by Ali Damas in um, the coming. It's unstoppable and it's going to befall all of you unless you stand by the truth. And what is that truth? That the zoo collapses, that justice is done, that all these war criminals are brought to book, that those who have been maimed are given justice, and that we must have to renegotiate our very essence of existence. And people must be free to decide where they want to belong. For us, we are going home. It doesn't matter how long it takes. It doesn't matter how convoluted this journey is. Our vow on this platform is that we shall never allow the heart of this project to see corruption. And our enemies know this. That is why they will attempt all manner of things, including assassinating our leader, Mazin Namdekan. 
and hardcore dedicated beer fans. Our brothers are still in detention, just as you there, and a couple of our brothers are still being detained in secret cells in the zoo called Nigeria. We are in solidarity with the family. We are in solidarity with all of them. We are in solidarity with all our brothers and sisters who are still undergoing different degrees of pains and difficulties. Your sacrifices, your pains cannot be in vain. Biafra shall be restored on behalf of our fallen heroes and heroines who have paid the ultimate price that we have our freedom. They will try to see whether they can destabilize us. They will try to see whether they can divert our attention that we may not concentrate anymore. But no matter how long we continue to repeat, it takes. Biafra shall be restored. And you must be part of this all-important restoration effort. There are people who are still standing on the fence. Through it remains that you have no hope in the zoo called Nigeria because it is an abomination unto mankind. And there's nothing anybody can do about it. IPOB has been on retreat. Retreat does not mean going back on what they have said. We mean in consultation. We have been undergoing serious degrees and embarking on processes of re-strategizing are moving forward and we can assure you that we are in a stronger position more than ever before we must pray for our leader mazenam the kanu and his family he is a rare gem he is indeed the servant of the most high god in the real sense of the word in every ramifications because as you can see what is happening under his charge has never happened before in the history of Biafra Association project. Those who are filled with envy and jealousy, Ndanyunku, Ndenadi, they are everywhere. Why not me attitude? They will continue to indeed feel the pains of the progresses that we are making because they don't want us to progress they will continue to counter what we are doing they will continue to multiply in their numbers but in the end they will fail they started since 2014 or thereabout and they are not resting the cabals in Asorok and there are baby saboteurs in Biafra land who are obviously very jealous of Nam the Kanu and what progressive strides IPOB have made in the past few years are actually at work. But we are not going to keep quiet. A number of them have multiple Facebook accounts. They use social media platform to try to blackmail, to try to defame reputable members of this family. The same people who are defaming, who are using multiple Facebook accounts to write false stories against the name they can against which I'm afraid, against IPOB principal servants. Are the same people who go we always go to court. We are laughing at them because we have dozier on them. Very important. We are urging you not to be distracted. We are urging you to even remain more positioned to confront the challenges ahead. Anybody that attacks IPOB 
anybody that attacks them, they can on social media. Give them that back. Hundred folds. Very important. Use the same medium that they are using and deal with them. Because, you know what, we have understudied, we have indeed taken note of the direction these people are going. They are working for the DSS. The Directorate of State Security of the Zoo called Nigeria. They are working for the cabals. They are working for their baby uh, political servants in Biafaland as well. And we are telling you that they cannot withstand the mighty, victorious propensity of IPOB. We are going to bring them to their knees. It's simple as that. Our ideology is anchored on principle of human rights and defense and preservation of fundamental freedom. And that we must insist on. Very important. There shall be no discrimination in Biafra land, not today, not tomorrow. Anybody that sees such discrimination must flag it up. There shall be no molestation. People should not use their position to victimize others. What happened between 2015 and up to 2017 cannot repeat itself in our fold. The principle of command and control remains the cardinal principle that has been responsible for the internal coherence and the public image of IPOB. And we must indeed insist on that and follow the due procedures in place. It is a symbiotic relationship in terms of positions in IPOB families. It is from top to bottom and vice versa. And this principle has been responsible for the progress we have made so far and we are still making. And therefore, we will not tolerate anybody, a group of people that will misuse it. Very important. IPOB family meetings must continue as usual, and we commend our family members, especially in Biafaland and in different parts of the world. We have not pretended that this journey might seem convoluted, tortuous and complex sometimes, but we must remain ideologically consistent. All our programs of activities, all our projects, both those already announced and those that are yet to be announced, must be implemented and accomplished. At the appropriate time, no matter the delay, and we urge you, the faithful around the world, to remain focused and to repose confidence in the direction that our leader Mazen Alkan is taking us. If you know that it is easy, go and do it. We have waited for some people who have been yapping that IPOB has lost team, that IPOB is not doing this and not doing that. Where are they? They are waiting for us, including even politicians in the zoo called Nigeria. Some are warriors in the ocean, not on upland. Some have used their mouth to drive innocent youths to their graves because they were told to go and form human shield. But today there is no response from such people. Yet they are warriors. Because they get in the name, they can and all that, and IPOB. Some are fighting with pipeline and say that they are freedom fighters. 
But our principle has always been one. Non-violent approach, non-committant, and more importantly, our courage has been the greatest strength that we have. Courage in adversity, ideological consistency, more importantly, focus, solidarity across board. And that is something that we are not going to remove our eyes from. We remind our enemies, we remind our detractors that they are in for the greatest shocker of their lives. As you can see what is happening in the zoo called Nigeria today, you will bear witness to the audacity and the coming into existence of IPUB, led by Ali Damazin Namdikam, who has divine mandate to speak, and who has the mandate of Biafran people. If you know that you have the mandate of Biafran people to speak on their behalf, come out, and let's see who will stand by your side. It is only when Namdikam talks, that the zoo called Nigeria shakes and listens. You may say all manner of things because you are filled with envy and jealousy, petty jealousy, and because you are expert in amateurish saboteur conduct, you will continue to be swallowed whenever IPUB beams such light on all of you. We commend IPUB family members for their resilience, for their solidarity, in standing tall across board and against the latest evil machination of the DSS of the zoo called Nigeria in collaboration with their baby saboteurs from Biafraland to disseminate or rather to share the video they hacked, they stole from our leader's computer, laptop or mobile phone, and which has been in circulation since 2013, 14. Question we're asking is why is it that they have decided to try the second time? Because we obliterated them the first time, and this time around, some baby saboteurs who claim to be a POB had calls. Who took that video, supplied it once again, gave it back to members of the DSS that they are working for because they are looking for money. And they tried the second time. And the response that they are getting from IPOB family, the unity across board has been unprecedented. And we urge you to remain focused and resolute. And keep it up. IPOB rules the media across board in the zoo called Nigeria. And without anybody talking about an American IPOB, they will be out of business, especially the media and some politicians who are using the Association project as a bargain chip in Abuja. We are telling them that at the appropriate time, they will indeed pay a very heavy price for their treachery. They tried to use that video, the private video of Ali Damans in Namdekam, a strict and ultimate invasion of privacy and the person who started this right from 2013-2014 does not and is yet to appreciate the enormity of the crime the enormity of the offense that has been committed the same people who are shouting defamation defamation are also responsible for all this and we know them and we're not missing words about it. 
But of course, IPOB families across the world and across board are equal to the task. What is your mission? What is your reason in circulating, hacking the computer, your laptop, your mobile phone of a man who is in his house? What is your intention? What are you trying to achieve? And when you did what you did, you think that you will take glory. Let us see who is circulating it. Use your name. Let us see you. Let's set our eyes on you. And you will be very much ashamed of yourself in the final analysis. Biafra has everything. If not for anything, that video shows that the leader of IPOB is a round figure. He's a round personality. A consummate one, I must say. What else can we say? If this is poor, who have been going around trying to blackmail innocent men and women of Biafra, to the extent of invading their family units and privacy. If they are courageous enough, let them publish the videos of themselves and their wives. They will not be able to do it. They cannot do it. Because you know what? They are not proud of themselves to start with. IPOB will continue to win, continue to brace trail and advance and make exploits. You need to be very much courageous and look to the future with hope and reasonable, reasonable confidence because we are on course to victory, continue to repeat. Anybody that shares that video, go after that person. Report the account. Of course, they are not using their real names. For they are on course to making a huge amount of money because of that video. You cannot mess with IPOB. Who born you? You are not existing yet. You cannot stop IPOB. You cannot mess with, with IPOB. And the unity across board is unprecedented very unusual in the midst of black men and in the midst of those who call themselves Nigerians. Any day you think that you have arrived and you think that you can use whatever you have to ridicule IPOB, know that that is the beginning of your end from that moment, because whatever weapon or device you use against us, we are going to use a hundredfold against you. Once again, we remain very committed to this cause. Our hands are clean. We are ordained the chosen people, a chosen people of the Most High God, set on this improvised joint resolution and redemption. Heaven and earth are bearing us witness. If you think otherwise, go and try. And we are blessed that our leader, Mazen Namdi Kano, is in our midst. His likes appear once in a lifetime. And we should be very much appreciative of the, uh, appreciative of the fact that the Most High God has made that a reality in our lives. We must continue to hold on to the progress that we have made so far and consolidate on it. We are on different platforms, satellite platforms, FM relay stations are cross board in Biafra land, subject to confirmation. We are on a technology called call to listen. Our mobile app is powered by audio now, download it. What we have now is the Android version. The other versions are coming up. 
report any reduction of services where you are in Biafra and especially those who are the same via FM relay stations. Report any issue you have with our satellite platform as well. More importantly, we encourage people from different communities in Biafra land, whether you are based abroad or even in Biafra land, come together and sponsor FM relay station that will be serving your community. That is the best way to go about it. Come together and sponsor FM relay stations that will be serving your communities, both IPOB family members in Biafra land and in abroad or in the diaspora. Do not wait for IPOB leadership because this involves huge financial outlay. But of course, we rest assured that we are doing something about it. It may not come, it may not come as quick as you expect, but we are going to do something about it. But you can at the same time quicken the process by coming together and sponsoring FM relay stations and even satellite units in different parts of Biafra land. We need solar system as well, solar panel, inverter as the case may be. We all need all this. So if you are looking to, or looking up to what you can do, apart from our monthly contributions for IPOB, sponsor our media projects. More importantly in Biafra land, because we need every nooks and crannies in Biafra land, every community, every village, every city in Biafra land to be covered with FM station signals. Our people must indeed look towards this direction because it remains one of the most important projects that we must have to accomplish media is power and more importantly when the information coming from the media is authentic and directed towards affecting positively the lives of the people ipob is standing in the gap for millions if not billions of people who are under shackles of oppression shackles of injustice and slavery and we are not going to shake our responsibility on this particular assignment that we have given to ourselves if you are an elder in biafra land know that you must be a responsible one very important if you are a religious leader in biafra land you must indeed live up to expectation if you are a community leader in biafra land you must also live up to expectation. If you are a political leader in Biafra land, you must live up to expectation. What are we saying here? We are the children of light and we shall continue to stand against injustice, against oppression, against every vices being perpetuated against our people it doesn't matter whom you are if you are an elder behave like an elder responsible one indeed if you are a clergy man behave like one if you are a community leader do as expected if you're a political leader we continue to repeat you have to do as expected the reason why evil crime of all sizes and shapes abomination has taken over control of our psyche in Biafra land in different parts of the zoo called Nigeria is because people who are supposed to speak or people who are supposed to challenge such evil such undesirable practices are looking the other way. They were they are shaking their responsibility. They are abdicating it. 
and those perpetrators in the process have no other choice but to embolden and to become more desperate and daring in their conduct. The question we are asking is, for how long will this continue? That is why we are IPOV. That is why we are doing what we are doing. Anywhere you see evil, stand against it. In Abia State, in Abia Province, Omaha Province, there has been reports, or there have been reports of abduction of Biafran youths by the military personnel. Of course, we know that these are people from different parts of Northern part of the zoo called Nigerian collaboration with those evil men and women in our land. Some of them are Boko Haram terrorists who are of course sent to continue to molest and make life very miserable for people. If you are in the know of the killings going on in Abia, especially around Asa Axis, by those who say that they are military men there, but some of them are drawn from rank and fire of Boko Haram terrorists. Of course, what we are saying is authentic because you can see there are some Boko Haram terrorists who were purportedly arrested, but today they have been given rehabilitation training and them are drawn into the military and into the police. And they are sent to no other place but Biafalam. And our people who I do know of this have been mute, even those in police and the army, because they will be looking, they will always be looking for what their family and their children and their associates will eat. My problem is that if the scale of this heinous crime, abduction, and for the disappearance of our people is anything to go by. Why is it that families whose loved ones are missing are not coming up to report this? Why are they not reporting this? Some of us, we come on radio and say, we saw this, I confirmed it, it happened, they took away two people, they took away three people, they will always stop vehicles and uh, tell one or two or three people to come down and from there you will know where those people are. Some people have come up and said, they execute our people every day. Why is it, therefore, that our people whose loved ones are missing are not coming forward. They are not coming up to indeed let people know about this. Why are we keeping quiet? In northern part of the zoo called Nigeria, if for any reason anything happens, they will alert the whole world. They will even use government agencies to reach the international community. Why are we keeping mute? I continue to ask. In Enugu, in Anambra, we understand that there have been killings of our people by Fulani headsmen. Of course, these are terrorists. Some of them are living in Army, army barracks. We want more information regarding the killings, the latest killing in Anambra and that of Enugu and Eboin. Why are our people keeping quiet? What is going on? I am asking a personal question. If these killings are going on and you keep quiet, it then means nothing is happening. If we report these incidents to 
these incidences, if we report them to foreign bodies, they will always ask for evidence. When they ask for evidence, I don't provide that evidence. It means that you are not telling the truth. But every day, people will be coming up on air and be saying, they killed this person, they killed that person, they molested me, they do all this. Why can't you get accurate information regarding all this? Why are we keeping quiet in the face of intimidation and danger? And even when we have opportunity that we lead to the apprehension of these evil men and women, these perpetrators, these criminals, we also blow such opportunity. I am not happy at all. And nobody who is a keen observer should be happy. Our people are being killed every day. Our people are missing every day. But it appears that we are now used to it. Why are our people behaving like zoo animals? We are urging our people, indigenous people of Biafra, family members in different communities in Biafra land, be politically conscious, be at our lot, be your brother's keeper, support one another. More importantly, you must be as wise as serpent and as innocent as a dove. Our leader, Mazinam de Kano, was castigated a few months ago when he made important revelation that the person in Asorok was an imposter. He later drew an analogy with Atiku Abubakar's immigration history. And this is with special reference to referendum. That if Atiku Abubakar's Adamawa should through press besides become part of the zoo called Nigeria and through referendum as the case may be why not Biafran people why not the people of Biafra why can't we get our way doing same and the zoo media the zoo aso rock cabals they went to work with it they started saying all manner of things They said all my, they concluded all manner of lies. Today, they have actually used that same revelation by Ali Damas and Namdi Kano in the court of law of the zoo called Nigeria against Atiku Abubakar. You know, when we see certain things, we will not fail, but to expose it and say the way it is. Nam the Kano is unstoppable. Don't mess with him and don't mess with IPOB. But it is also very interesting that the zoo called Nigeria is indeed heading to bottomless abyss. It is going to implode if care is not taken. It brings to fall the inevitability and the reality of the fact that most people who are claiming to be Nigerians are not Nigerians. That imposter in Asso Rock, or whatever he's called, whether Muhammad Buhari or whoever, is publicly acknowledged to have been born in 1942 and in Daura Emirate. And if you read 
and analyze the history of this part of the Mohammedan Emirate of the North, you will never fail to understand and appreciate that some of them are from Sudan, some of them are from Niger Republic. Some of them sojourned even in the part of uh, 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 Egypt and Middle East. And so if we are to follow the constitution of the zoo called Niger, no matter how fraudulent it is, if we are to follow history, the zoo officially became independent in 1960. So if Muhammad Buhari, for instance, was born in 1942 in uh, Daurai Emirate. It then means that Daurai Emirate, even my Canem Bruno Empire and all that, they were not part of the zoo called Nigeria. So Buhari or whoever impersonating him it's not supposed to run for the office of the zoo called Nigeria because he is not a Nigerian by birth. He was born in Daura, and Daura was not part of the zoo called Nigeria. Nigeria officially gained her independence or came into existence even in, two, uh, in, in 1960. And if we are even to make some form of incursion into some inescapable history, they were called Northern and Southern Protectorates, but not Nigerians, before independence. So if we are to follow that logic, inescapable one indeed, the so-called Muhammad Buhari or his imposter is not supposed to be running for the office of the zoo called Nigeria because it's not a Nigerian by birth. He is even older than Nigeria to start with. Do you see why Nam De Kano is unstoppable? Do you see why you cannot mess with him and IPOB? Do you see that he is a genius in his own right? Very conversant and read in history, political history of Africa if not the world, Namde Kano is the most knowledgeable person of repute and in our lifetime that can tell you everything in and out of the zoo called Nigeria. He has the history of the zoo called Nigeria in his palms. He knows how the system works and he is the only one one that can actually make a pronouncement and people will listen to him. Look at all the prophecies, pronouncements of Ali Dama as a Namde Kanu and tell me how many of them have not been fulfilled. That stone that they were setting aside, spitting on today remains, it remains at the center stage of politics and history in the zoo called Nigeria. It also brings to the fore, like I have said earlier, the question of who and who is not a Nigerian. Namde Khan, for instance, people have been saying, eh, we are Nigerians and all that. Namde, why isn't Namde Khan doing what he's doing? Namde Khan was born a Biafra. Namde Khan was born in the 1960s, between 1967 and 1970, Biafra was in existence, recognized by some countries around the world, more importantly in Africa. And all of a sudden, you are saying to him and so many others who were born during that period that that your country is no more. And if you try to claim it back, you become a criminal. You'll be charged with reasonable felony. You become a terrorist. How is that possible that you're going to succeed? 
do you see the level of authenticity? Do you see the reason why you cannot stop a Nam the Canon? Because he is more qualified to ask for the restoration of the sovereignty of Biafra that he's a citizen of. Everything is being revealed and trampled on the wishes of the people by rigging election in the zoo called Nigeria, especially that of 2019, where all the so-called members of the academy, those whom you entrust your future in the hands, they are doctors, they are professors, name them, and they fraudulently and shamelessly, I must say, and in public glare, lied to their teeth. Why the evidence that abounds is showing contrary results, or it's to the contrary, as you say. IPOB will always be vindicated. There is no way the zoo called Nigeria can move forward. It holds no future for anyone. And more importantly, our people, especially those from the old eastern region of that zoo called Nigeria, must understand that no matter how hard we try to endear ourselves to the yellow bars, to the houses, to the Fulanis, you remain whom you are. You are a stranger. To the Fulanese, you remain an infidel that must be destroyed at the time of their own choosing. It is only IPOB that we save. It is only IPOB that we indeed show the way forward. Therefore, wherever you are, join IPOB family units and continue to propagate this gospel. IPOB is not only fighting for Biafran's avoidance of doubt because our cardinal objective and belief is anchored in fundamental human rights and freedom and its defense. And therefore, it doesn't matter whom you are. As long as your hands are clean, you have nothing to fear. But if your hands are not clean, IPOB will stand against you where necessary. Take appropriate action. This is where there'll be a follow presentation. We are on this evening of the 13th of April 2019, reaching you from London and with some degree of certainty wherever you're on this panel. Uh, the number to call is plus 447405 964146 plus 464105 964146. We are on Skype. Skype ID is where there'll be a first six. Very important. Our people who have not changed their Facebook profiles to the pictures that we have circulated, pictures of our leader Mazin and Kamala's wife, must indeed do that. It is for a reason. Very important. We thank those who have done that because it shows that we are one and we are propelled and directed to a common destiny. This is where the BFR presentation once again. The number to call is plus 447405 plus 4474 We are on Skype. Skype ID is where there will be a first six. Where there will be a number six in front of eight. Once again, we urge you, eminent beer fans, welcome to this unimportant restoration effort. We are making this evening through the broadcasting session that by the special grace of God I'm on praying this evening. We thank and salute the courage of our brothers and sisters who are anchoring different programs from Biafra land to the Middle East to South Africa to the Americas. We salute your courage and we urge you to remain focused and resolute. We also thank IPB5 members who are rendering support as much as they can in the circumstance. 
that we may make the necessary impact needed. Do not keep quiet over injustice. Do not keep quiet over oppression. Do not keep quiet in face of danger and difficulty. Be back in a minute. But this is still radio be for our presentation. Can you hear me? Call on the phone. Good evening from here. Welcome okay. to the program. Good evening, Mars Richard Four. Good evening, Good evening from all here. Your friends all over the whole world. I am Mazi Udochiku Judu in Joko from area 2, Oji Zone, zone 9. I want to thank you, Mazi Chemefo, and all the principal officers all over the whole world, both those in Jasper and those in Biafra land. May the good Lord keep on blessing you, protect you all, and guide every IPOB working assiduously for the restoration of Biafra. I have no much credit, but I want to say, bless our screen leader, our fine sake, world fine sake. No, she is one, one woman's court. She is really trying and helping the struggle. May everybody who works for the restoration of Biafra be blessed by Chiko Kigabiyama. Good evening and God bless you. Thank you very much. God bless you too. Yeah. Thank you, Mazi. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is the be a follow up presentation. We are moving forward. Mosai God remains in charge. Next call on the phone. Can you hear me? Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. They are not talking. Can you hear me now? Hello. Yeah, good evening from here. Hello. Welcome to the program. Go ahead, please. Hello, Good evening from here. You are listening to the radio, obviously. Please go ahead and make a contribution. Go ahead, please. Yes, sir. Uh, good evening, sir. My brother. Good evening from here. Thank you very much. Yeah. How is the reception in Iguacha via our FM station? Is everything okay? Yeah. Iguacha is very clear. Bad and clear. All right, please. 
این فرس هم بعد از دیوان اگر این تو دو مرمل حقی یا بری حدی وید وید نام دیزو پاکر می پیدی اندر پیدی دیما دیز وقت می پرات وی ادی اخ Definitely now, yes. Now, when I look at the camera, what's your name? Some people are saying, and what's this in the game? In my country, I'm trying to say that the money matter of is different. Now, it's coming to our people. Saying that our people are from Canada, and these are bad people. They themselves have blown it. The Lord is working for us. Tomorrow, we are talking about Allah, let him and the camera. When he was... Broadcasting from the beginning of this year, you see, 2019 is the year of restoration of the kingdom of the Afra. And I get it very This year is our year. We must go this year. In the ocean, then we pray. You see? You see? You see? Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. This is what the father presentation. Every effort of the enemy is indeed making us popular and bringing their names to the mold. If you are courageous enough, use your name, come out, let us see whom you are. But even in your mask situation, even as a masquerade, we will still have to unmask you at the appropriate time. And we are working towards it. Very important. Can you hear me? Call on the phone. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Why are you leaving the radio on? Next, call on the phone. Can you hear me? Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Call on the phone. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Hello? Good evening from here. Move away from the radio, please. Move away from the radio. Unbelievable. Hello? Yes, go ahead. Hello? Go ahead, please. I hear you. Good evening, sir. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Go ahead. Your line is not very clear. Can you try and uh, put your mouth closer to the microphone of your phone, please? Go ahead. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Let's see how it goes. Go ahead, please. Well, not very well, but go ahead. Um, I hope some people okay. will be hearing you. Okay, okay. <laughs> I love you, dear friend. Also, I make a bad man when you get my phone. Now, I call you all the time. Now, then, I just get a message from Nazo. I love you, dear me. Today, I just want to be a friend. Now, I'm not being just be a friend. I'm sorry, from you know, you know, I'm not being just be a friend. You say, you say, you say. I'm not being just be a friend. So, if you are going to be a friend, I'm not going to be a friend. I'm not going to be a friend. I'm not going to be a friend. And I never could enjoy that school never had the same nature and I support to you. There was. There was. There was. This is really a peer further presentation. IPOB is unstoppable. We are universal. We are everywhere. Where you don't see IPOB family members, simply know that there is no life there. We stand in the gap for those who cannot speak for themselves. Hear me, call on the phone. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Can you hear me? Unbelievable. Somebody is on the line and not talking. Can you hear me? Next caller on the phone. Can you hear me? Hello? Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Go ahead. Uh, okay, that line is off. It's off the zoo epileptic communication services. Are they? Can you hear me next on the phone? Hello? 
Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, go ahead, please. I can hear you. Go ahead. Unbelievable. Not sure what's going on. We'll be back in a minute. Let me, let me just look at what may have been the problem. Uh, let's take this call again and see how it goes. Next call on the phone. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Yeah, Yes, I'm I'm hearing you living from here. Go ahead, please. Yeah, I remain a humble servant, Mazawadika Collins, a zona deputy coordinator in my own zone in the Great Province. Yes, thank you very much. Go ahead. Yeah, Mazike Mepasa, after I spoke with you on Tuesday night, Mazuche Mepo. Nearly, I was being assassinated by the zoo government and the terrorists in this town. I don't understand. Can you explain it very well so that people will understand? Yes, yes. what I'm saying is that after I made a speech with you on Tuesday night, on my way going to my house, so the road I'm using, I don't know that Angroba in this country, everywhere is Angroba here. We, don't, we are not longer safe. So the motor that overtakes me, I don't know that it's Angroba. They are now rushing to block the police chicken point. What the place I'm heading to? I didn't think that I try to overtake them or show you stubborn. I will be assassinated with the police. So that, that Tuesday night, they shot the kid down in my front. I'll now take revive, run for my life. The road I want to use again, before I come out again, that route reached that place and shot another person dead. For that chicken point tonight, there is no police. You know, if after seven now, there is no police again in that chicken point. I'm telling you now, from you watcher, reporting on Tuesday night. The thing happened in a Neka Ibrita Road. My brother, we thank the most high God that you are alive. That is the most important yes, thing. Such is my leader. I'm very, very happy for my life. The Arabah collected little sheep. I'm finding a way to go and escape from the jeep. Up to now, nothing happened. No security for that chicken point. That chicken point tonight so, is open. So they are now they are now running away. The running zoo away police are running away now. Yes. Even on the 16th, that election day, the council, they shot one police at the other detention chicken point. That two chicken point tonight ain't by after seven this night. Nobody is here now. I'm I'm not adding anything on top. So my I thank you people for what you are doing. I know any step you people make. When I call you, I told you that I haven't heard your voice for a long time. I hope all is well. It tells that you are okay. I know that you people are working to step into the new nation of Jabra. Whatever step you people are making, I want the Catholic and my family will support on that. I know my leader. They are still they are assuring us. I'm not in Facebook. I'm not interested. But they got my leader in a hotel. I don't know. My leader is not important. It's not that in Shah where another person <laughs> die, another person of, take of care course. of a wife. Of course. My leader is complete human being. These are cowards. My leader you know? is okay. Yes. And so we are waiting for them. There, there are no more. The there are no more circulating. The, let them come up. Let's see them, the including the masquerade among them. They are now masquerades, yes. wearing another yes. person's, um, or rather, wearing masks, so that they don't know who they are. <laughs> but we are going to unmask they them. Say, they say, when, when ha, ha, fight, they carry of the fight. So. When our leader denies the record of election, they say, I have collected the bribe from Atiku. Let them show us the video when Nazi Kalu collect the bribe from Atiku. Not this one they are showing us. Let them show us here when Nazi collect from Atiku. Principal don't exist. Nah, my leader is not a father. He is a complete man. Not a poop. So, whatever thing they want to say, let them say that. I don't want to see it. I am not interested. Those that are killed in uh, Afro-Kibeko on Twitch 8, September 2017. That's eight people are human beings. We want to restore them back on 14th of September. They are human beings. The ones that kill at Tonko is a human being. We want to restore them back. The ones that kill at Ugocha, which I follow on, is a human being. On 20th 
January 2015. The one that came at uh, Umba High School, also a woman being. So they want us to keep quiet. Let, uh, let them finish us. They are assassinating. My leader is doing well. I trust in him. He's clear leader. So my son, which I'm never with the zoo is done. Now it's not that understand that I took it from Cameroon. That one is never be our problem. When they tell us, they say it's a rumor. Now they have clear. APC has fought. They don't want to tell us where the other one from. So I took it from Cameroon. When they tell you that you bring, they don't have a certificate. They do not see that one. Up to now, nothing has come out. The judges in the country, no one. As of we are aware it's a certificate, all of them keep quiet. The only article they notice it from Cameroon. They are going to destroy themselves, of course. The zoo. I don't want to delay much. Let my people also speak. Mas you can buy my own servant. Mas my you can connect. Mas it what you can do. Thank very much and God bless you. It is only in the zoo called Nigeria that people will be killed like animals. And you see those who are doing, perpetrating the evil, the murderers, the criminals themselves, and they are giving official protection and nobody will talk. If not for anything, the courage of the people of Sudan, where the imposter has links, if not biological affiliation, did the world uh, proud. They did the world proud. They indeed stood their ground and, and unified against a common enemy. Under rain and shine, they stood their ground. And they were able to remove a debtor of all time, Omar Bashel. And they are still resistant. But in the zoo called Nigeria, dirty politics, ethnic jingoism, ethnic bigotry, we be the order of the day. When you see evil happening because it is your kinsman or the person is your brother or sister or political godfather, you will say that that person is doing the right thing. And you think that the zoo called Nigeria will continue to continue to move like that and people who are obviously disadvantaged will continue to suffer. The worst aspect of it is that this sabotage coming from Biafra land is un unimaginable, unprecedented in history. Because some idiots, some saboteurs, some opportunists are working for their masters from Northern House of Land Extraction. And you think that you are doing it against anyone, you are doing it to yourself. With hindsight, we salute the people of Sudan for standing up against terror. The zoo called Nigeria, the zoo animals, I must say, should begin to put on their thinking cap. Otherwise, all of them will perish because Nemesis is catching up with them gradually and gradually. Can you hear me call on the phone? Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Only IPOB has courage to challenge impunity. Good mm -hmm. evening from here. Can you hear me now? Good evening, my deputy leader, Mazu Chemefo. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Go ahead, please. Good evening, fellow Biafras, friends of Biafra, and all the lovers of freedom. My name still remains. Mazi of Kweko Biafra, calling all the way from Abia province. I say, may Chukuk Abia bless you, the deputy Supreme leader, and also bless the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Nandi Kano, wherever he is tonight, of Chukuk Kabi Ama, Romi Henida. He said, he said. My deputy leader, I want to use this opportunity to thank you for the work I've been doing for indigenous people of Biafra all over the world. You say me, Elohim blessed you. I want to use this opportunity to bless uh, Mazi George Onibe for the good work he has been doing for the indigenous people of Biafra. Wherever he is tonight, may Chuko Kikabe have my blessing. And also I want to use this opportunity to let my people know to make this announcement, please. Uh, with the indigenous people of Biafra, Butakotro Zone, 
We will have our meeting tomorrow. Please, wherever you are, try to come this meeting. This meeting is very, very urgent. I pray that Tuko Kikadama will send us tomorrow as we are going to gather to discuss one or two things in the name of Tuko Kikadama. Master Deputy Leader, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to make this announcement of uh, our tomorrow's meeting. May Tuko Kikadama bless you. I see the main Mazi Okweke Biafra calling us from all the way from Abia province. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, my deputy. Thank you. God bless you. And uh, remain resolute. This is Radio Biafra Representation on discipline of the 13th of April 2019. We are live from London and uh, with some degree of certainty reaching you wherever you are on this planet earth can you hear me call out on the phone good evening from here welcome to the program my deputy leader Margie, which I'm not sure. good evening from here bless you bless you too you are such a one yes you are such a wonderful deputy i love you so much my and i use love this you opportunity back. to bless i use this opportunity to bless my leader the only powerful one of Fiafra land. There is no amount of Carlo on a blue. Before God and man, I I stand on my feet to decree and to declare that every that what I read on the internet, none of them. We go free. To go to Kadiama, meet them one by one. At the same time, I'm very, very happy because of a promotion to our restoration of Biafra. I thank you so much, Mazi. My name is Okechuku Ezukoha. I'm calling from Aba. I'm a native of Omoa in Olu province. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. And God bless you. Thank you. Next call on the phone. Can you hear me? Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Call on the phone. Go ahead, please. Yeah, I can hear you. Mazi, which is my Yes, go ahead. Good evening from here. My Go name, ahead, please. Yeah. My name is Chimo Anya Chibundo. I hear from Ichuku. Ichuku is in Pichalangwa, not Yafalande. Mazi, Bless you. Bless you too. And bless your family. But you could care about bless our leader. You see? And bless his family. And bless his father and his mother. Whatever it is, but you could care about giving him strength, give him wisdom, and give him knowledge. Amen. You see? Mazi, which I'm I am not happy. Not happy. Many things are happening in our land here. Mazi, Peter Mako, I want to comment on one thing or two things. Now, our people have seen that there is no other hope for common man. There is no other hope for anybody except Biafra. Biafra is our last hope. Those who, may, who go and collected money for during the election. I think by now, this money has finished. I think one or two or three people, or many of you have spent more than money you collected from Nigerian politicians since after this election, so it's almost two months now. You have spent more than that through military or through police or through checkpoints. In all, all over the upper land. You people have understand that nothing like hope again except the Afra. Let our people, let everybody join hand to make sure that we give the Afra. Our people are dying in many places. Our people have been kidnapping in the many places in the upper land. If you are going anywhere, you are going in late hour or any, if you have any little problem with people, or with the outer man, they will kidnap you. 
no way to find you. Madrid and Apollo, this is what is happening in our land. Now, nah. but one thing is because our people, you don't, you don't, our people don't know what we are doing. Our people, because of the stupidity, and now some people, they don't know what we are Let everybody join hands, support IPOP. Let everybody find anywhere IPOP family is. Go and join IPOP. I want to tell our people in the country, Nisha Langwa, Nenguani, Nenu Mboto, Nenketa, Nenukosu, Nenumunda, Nenamapota, Nenemba. So I know every IPOP in the Chuku family. Can you join me on the IPOP in Chuku family? Because IPOP, Mbode, Kupu, Anywele. Join on IPOP. To make sure that you get it free. Turn on IBOD to make sure that my guy, I want to want to live as a human being. Mazi Uchemapo, and I think I want to comment. Now, everybody has seen that this man called Mazi Nandekano is whiter than white and whiter than snow. Because there is two comments I want to make. He said that the man and the come out and say it. And I think they say that if you know what you can do to make sure that your friend will not come, come out and do it. Now you people have understand that this man is whiter than white. What happened in two days ago? Everybody wondering about to us. What everybody? You have now confirmed. You know, you know, you, now you have confirmed that this man is whiter than white. This man don't have any strength. You have confirmed this man is a son of God. You have confirmed this man is a son of Shuko Kikadiyama. He don't have any sin. This man is not a criminal. This man is not doing any bad thing. Marvin Namekano is a servant of Shuko Kikadiyama. Because this is only the thing this thing that will bring us to the scene of Marvin Namekano to show you that this man is whiter than white. And so I want to tell you something. Whoever posting this thing, any day, any day, any day, you stay with your wife. Any day, you make love with your wife. Any day, you plan to get a children, a children, or any day you stay with your wife. You know, no matter where you are, that day, Chuku Okikabiyama will make you die, dead. And in your family, in your son, everything and everything concerning you. Whoever supports what you do, anybody who supports what you do, any day you people went out or help to stay with your wife, that day, Chuku Okikadama will show you that it's only you. No, I am the living God. Any day, whoever says this thing and say that Mother Nam the Kano do something wrong, whenever you have you stay with your wife. Whenever you stay with your your any your wife, that day you are going to death. You are you you will die because Martin and the country don't commit any. This is his wife. His wife. He's not commit any crime. Martin and the Cano, but you put the bless you. We are with you. This thing happened last week. Last week, I have shown people many people who are there in this struggle. Have now confirmed that you are a man of you are, you are a son of God. This thing happened two days ago. Some of the, some of us, some of people who are against you have now come that have now confirmed that they have to support you because the time enemies think they are going to blackmail you. Now they, they, they are not they they not they don't know that they are they are praising you, Martin Nandekano. God bless you. You are only hope we have. We are only hope we have. We don't have hope in Nigeria. We don't have hope in Okinawa. We don't have hope in any politician. Only you will serve us and the Chukwu Kikadama. But Chukwu Kikadama bless all the all IPOP, all the whole Pakistan zone family, all the whole IPOP Martin and the guys. Every of you who are trying to make sure that we we get our freedom. But you put it up, I'm blessed you. I'm blessed my God, you need it. I'm blessed you, my God, you
Bless you too. Thank you very much. This is really be a final presentation. IPLB is unstoppable. Nam de Kano is unstoppable. And there is no other thing where we advance. The evidence is there. You are seeing it. You are experiencing it. Everything that has been said on this platform uh, coming to fruition. And we are all witnesses to it. Can you hear me? Call on the phone. Good evening from here. Welcome Hello. to the program. Hello, Shumazi. Yes, I can hear Hello. you. Go ahead, please. Can you can you please to speak my language? What is your name? Hello. Go ahead. Hello. But what is your name? Unfortunately, I didn't get that mis uh sorry, I didn't get that message. I don't know whether anybody understood what our brother was saying, but I couldn't get it. If he can come back, let him come back. Not sure why the line went. Of course, it is epitome of the epileptic communication service from the zoo called Nigeria. Can you hear me? Call on the phone. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Yeah, good evening. This is Mark. This is Mark. I'm calling from the Delhi School Government. Thank you very much. Good evening, my brother. Good evening from here. Yeah, it is my aunt. Hey, Mary. No, the ma. Uh -huh. My give I want to give this opportunity. Okay, thank you very much. And to do that. That's easy. Because I have just found out that now. If what is three months, if anything, my family is committed. <laughs> because everything they said they did was with his wife. Yeah, that's it. I don't have anything to say. That is so true. I'm sure for this Jew, or this Jew, how sure for they are. That is the thing that will come up with. Very fabricated all sorts of nonsense. I As long as you will carry on my feet, and as long as you create food, your son has come. It has come already. They are just looking for the money. <laughs> the zoo are trying out their best, but really, the cardiac man. We are representing it. Thank you, my, my brother. I want to make a work from the Eden Millionaire. You didn't know. You see, you didn't know. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is where there'll be a further presentation. We are moving forward. The most I go remains in charge. We are gradually inching closer to ending this program. Of course, a lot of people are calling in. Next call on the phone. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Huh? I can hear you go. Go ahead, please. Uh, Good evening from here. Go ahead. Hello, sir. Go ahead. What do you think you are calling before? This is Radio BFR, yes. Go ahead, please. Uh, thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. So, I am from uh, Airborne Six. Uh, my name is Augustine. So, I want to tell you that uh, uh, our Biafra restoration now, the program is not uh, Nigeria. Nigeria is very, Nigeria is very new. Because number one, Nigeria has no any achievement. They have no tech. They have no security. They have no They don't have any map from war in the international community. It's only the United Nations and England is coming. Because when they tell us, I have run up whatever you may forget. All the whole project is not the So people are misguided because 
Uh, we are waiting for time for referendum. The resolution of the opera. No way. So I'm trying to save time. I just talking, 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 nothing. So we went in on the channel and the uh, United Nations, the people state, we are ready for referendum. We are ready to go. We are suffering this country. This country has no option. Can you hear me, sir? Of course, I can hear you, my no. brother. Go ahead, please. Uh, so, I'm from previous now, I'm trying this uh, number to take it. I did not. When I'm going inside the market, I'm going to something about the effort. Some people are happy, some people are making it lost. <laughs> We are from, we are from, we are from Mars. We are dying here. We are suffering. It's like a thing that we can be 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 a thing. So I myself, it's like how come we can be a thing? How come? We can have done everything clearly. What is the United Nations in the world? What is their problem? Or they are doing research in the world. Britain, which is not in Nigeria, they are not here now. They can't do anything. Because they have been uh, bad. They are everything. They have been everything. Badly and good. They have no option in this country now. We are dying here. And we are the people of this nation. Every day, look at today, they remember that they think it's not, uh, uh, it's not uh, a Nigerian man from uh, Canada. But they come that uh, uh, they can't make it. Uh, but to show with the friends, the man from South Sudan. Uh, tomorrow they will may discover that uh, that one. Give us space for the referendum, or uh, I should see what God. Go there and judge these people. The judgment is a day or two days. Very simply, the job. It's just um, it's just a matter of time. It is going to happen as long as we remain tenacious, as long as we remain ideologically consistent and true to the call that we have been called upon to of course and back upon there is no way our enemies can overrun us and there is no way these war criminals can escape justice thank you very much and god bless you this is really be a further presentation we are moving forward most side governments in be back in a minute Mumahi mwakezi baza mani ya mwodo. Ukuasi, ukuasi, ukuasi kwa obo. Mka ndiji asine rini. Eba ande fula ni odibo. Mchi u usuto unyi sinu obode Nigeria. Ombe mno nuli hiko ni kangeti nye haraka ya kuko. Siha agaha memezi biya frozo. Unu biya kambalu unu odibo. Kandiyo so sabara hu odibo. Hayo la mnjo. Nisina gama hapo umwono wa nazo. Kweni hindi ya nini makode manke hawa na nkomo ha Mankomo mwa gabia Nini na wala mwoku kumsiha Oke mbezi kana agwazi ike mbono yuzi kana kawala si ike siya Nebe na ganoza ada ya Onewe fisi paka pagamba O wano Nigeria Kaigani hu kaigani hu Lekwa na wadanyi nubo chinketa Na kwa wakula ndi ya singa Iya ziki mwene mbwe mbo Tinyanyi no mea ino ni mea nubo chinketa Oku hinu wa neme Kedo za wana namde kani sine mea neme jia Unu kwa wala mkamugota Na mse Muna anoge Ogwe Nkabwa Gafle River Niger Nunu ga anwe poruzo Unu ge mezi ebe ni ime Ebu mwaka na aga kukwa Oge mezi ebe mezi o mamma Unu ogwe aga anuzi ya anuzi Age mwoko Mwini gana aba Oga dronyi huna mma Dronyi aso na mma Kedu Uzo msi mejon didi etuwa Asim no zon sine miyana odege mma Njon hasi ya mbungu aga Uwenye mbarebe Uwenye mburu mma Uwenye mbarota. Akwa sosu yuzi yoma chine kese mbasa ni guguka na mbasa. Keziye kosi metutunu. Obogeni mbere. Unu wanase kapota na mdekanu keguwe ya wohaneze na ndi governor. Okwa nekini mbere ndi headsman ndi busi ndi madu nugu awosa. Ndi governor hanu nugu awosa kwa wege ada busi ya. Inu wanu nugu. Na uwenye na achi nugu awosa go. Pota asike busi ya ndi headsman. Una nugu nugu na uwenye yoruba pota anasike busi ya ndi OPC. Or when I saw some debo, you know, now while a calica could go about and the full and new debo, only put a second about a full and new debo, and said, More one nam the canagama, but a full and new debo. How one of us about more debo? Oh, yes, in a mona. Haganu Gawasa, the Hana, a police in Allah, Najah, oh, no, never, nam the canoe of the canoe, but you know, happy or not by a benin, a gun in your girl, 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 your girl
or Ghana BBC, but now I can also cry. I can go on, won't you see? I stated it. A gum no way can the eye go, but they can't see Buzu, Nigeria, they see my little pampano, but they get a money. Nigeria, 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 Oh, hey, we're room in the the Fulani. Jen and the Fulani can hold Hananya. We're now Janas again, the man of Hanes and Obotinketa. Aqua food you bring la Hana Baro Dibo, Hana Churefi. A walk of food you bring la, but we are that is our Hanes, Tiwaya, Osabo. The Hananian. On the road to all that bo, Maggie, Maham, we did get back to Ono, can't buy half my way, but I'm going to call it a hotel. I got in your name and the banyo on a hana or the chine more for my each one has some to read the wapo Biafra, Nima, Nigeria. No, he has it is me wobo do ha Akadolia. Now you must say, I can also look at this in me. I said, I got meant to ya Kelu, I need the Nichaka, I touch her vote, I gana, Ebane, Miu, and Noron, I buy. A cocoretta and a governor and draw her. The name me who would an Nigeria model less in Kanu state to put up. Iriano Nano forty four. Of a model, let me put you who I see. Abia, Imo, Nabayosa Potter, Heruri, Sosa, Kanu state. Of Buzuzo, dear Naki, guessing and waiting here. Ibunobi Ebe, no one in a Hanao. Not to go out, but you don't cheap in him. If I dig it, oh, Zade, oh, but you look at no Unanagarium. One Tacrinia will obey, oh, when Ketem, a Benny Butaman, a Buta Ukrokin, and a Bupu, ne, but a Gobeke, when a Nugao Sajine, a letter one hammer, when a banny crossing, or those on Ketu Namaru, on a Jalwenu, Kesi Hosin, a Kawaram, or Boganiki Mepota, or a game men get you and went to Pasio Biabino, Nihi Nepu Nige Memuya, nor where's you? Here I pay being a canoe piece, kind of new piece. I'm going to call you, you are not any bass and more for the more problem can make on your anal on your one. Opening hang in him, Name Guany name Guany or Cariala. Eh? Nia ne mani no begema, e kuni a babuani, e geba a po e jide by na swa ya laya ni. How one on wenha and wagi ha purime? Hain na barande fula ni udibo. E ya well beku den na go pesin na gupu a a haname nu pisi. And se ha mwa won nam de kana nama bra ho dibu. Uru hafum kamona hame ya. Ha jum a yinesu mwi hanzo. E mwem anime bre head bere. Only one year behind me make a home with his more in the garden. Kahawata Nahaw with all her was rain on him and on the hand. He got up on all my way and come away got an easy open on him. He could be as you could go. Has room to work the best you could. Has room to work the best you could make a tiny hand on who's over ladder. Come a hand on no quasi. Now, brand the full and new people. A father. Before we came. There were no people like us, were they? That's how it's known. Now that we are here, are there people like us? Can they do what we are doing? That's how it's known. Long after we are gone, you will wish we lived forever and ever because there will be no set of people like us again. You can never, ever see this like here. Never. This is a golden generation that Chukwu Kikabiyama has decreed must come here to restore. It is a privilege. And that is why I don't mess with it. That is why anything that will put me into conflict with the throne of grace of heaven, I abhor it. I remove myself from it. We don't want his dips anymore. We don't want his cheats anymore. We don't want his demons anymore. We won't go. 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 We won't go.
the promised land. Go out, march to the promised land. No, no. We don't want this. Welcome back. This is Stay with your PFR Live presentation. No matter what DSS, the Aso Rock Cabals are doing to divert our attention, our leader, Mazen Namdekanu, made important seismic broadcasts in the last few days regarding Bin Tanyako and the Nigerian judicial system and the constitution and the legality of Biafra restoration projects. More importantly, self-determination. And what they did in response was to release a private video invasion of privacy was of our leader Mazen the Kano. Because they don't want people to concentrate and discuss that expose, that exposition, that revelation made by Namdi Kano. And we are telling them that this is just the beginning. The zoo, legal and political system are in shambles. And the judges are complicit in perpetuation of evil. They have been consistently and unfortunately truncating the cause of justice and there is no hope for the common man. Nobody can get justice from the zoo called Nigeria unless it is the will of the Most High God. Continue to share the last broadcast of our leader, Mazin Namdekan, where he, in forensic fashion, dissected and analyzed. He performed autopsy on the Nigerian constitution and the criminal legal jurisdiction of the zoo called Nigeria. The criminal justice and the zoo called Nigeria and how officials are ashamed. Continue to tweet that broadcast, continue to disseminate it through every social media platform that you have access to. And more importantly, listen attentively to the different important points that he had made on that broadcast. The zoo DSS are rattled. They employed their baby saboteur, Biafra opportunists to see whether they, what they can do. They use Igbo names, they use Biafra names to be sending all those. But we are, of course, out there to expose them. Continue to share the video and we will continue to deal with you the way we should be dealing with you. IPOB has dominated the media in the zoo called Nigeria and we shall continue to triumph. Nigeria is in an almighty mess and we are not going to relent until total freedom, total liberation is achieved. This is what the BFL presentation. We are asking him and friends to remain focused and resolute. Uh, we'll be going to Messenger now. Those who are still calling, of course, via our normal phone line, please. Exercise patience. Can you hear me after this call from Messenger? We shall, of course, go back to the normal line. Can you hear me? Call on. Yes, um, my, Call on. my deputy. Yes, um, go ahead, please. Good morning. Good evening yeah, from good here. Morning. Welcome to the program. Um, yes. Um, the reason of Berlin was to remind the DSS that they have uh, opened an avenue to nail them by our leader. Because why I said this, I I, I kind of um, understand vividly that the expose of that uh, video was from the laptop system they took from our leader's house, and uh, it is a crime for them to expose a marital uh, uh, private affairs on the social media. Them and the Mark Zegebert have something to answer and their uh, damages must surely be paid. So this is what I want to say. Thank you, sir. Well, thank you very much. Of course, we are in the know of all the legal implications regarding this. And of course, uh, at the appropriate time, 
The need for shall be done. This is going to be a follow-up presentation. Next call on the phone. Can you hear me? Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Can you hear me? You have the radio on. Please move away from the radio. I beg you in the name of the most high God. Move away from the radio. Hello. Go ahead, please. Hello. Good. Uh, hello. Go ahead. The world is listening. Go ahead, please. Good evening, sir. Good evening from here. Go ahead, please. My name is Simon. Hello? My brother, I'm not sure we shall continue. You need to call us and be more straight to the point. I am not in position to continue. Next call on the phone. Can you hear me? Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Hello. Ian. Good evening from here. Go ahead, please. Good evening, my good Thomas Thank you very much. Welcome to the program. Go ahead. Yeah. My name is Excel. Calling from Abaza. Thank you very much. Yeah. First of all, it takes good care of work as a dancer just of the other. For our life of our dear mother, and our kind of life of our dear the mother is more for. And that's how poor Biafra is working at Sidosity to make sure that Biafra will be restored. We're keeping all their friends, all their work, everything to make sure that Biafra is restored. Same with school, can I do with all of us? Let us and protect us until Biafra will be restored. In the mighty name of school, can I do with my three? He say, he say, can I first of all yeah. ask, are you receiving Radio Biafra via FM where you are? Very important. Because I'm yeah, getting some is, getting some um, complaints here. I am the spot and running, spot and running, very neat. Right. Thank right. you very much. Go ahead, please. Yeah. Um, first of all, as uh, the news that I had today, the zoo uh these people are so yeah, they cannot imitate the uh, I can I don't know what to qualify them in their imitate. Because of our leader I've already in food at um uh, the article is from is, is from is from Cameroon, and this book came today to tell article that is from Cameroon. You know, he's not having any right to root in Nigeria. Can't you be how to judge that these people are? Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. This country, is, uh, this country is already destroyed, and the, the one that tells me almost is the picture that these people are picture of Amazon, are the Amazon, and they will put up there. There is, there is nothing to worry about there. It is the, anybody sharing the video is an animal. Yeah. And they are yeah. not, they know, yeah. they know they know what is waiting for them. We yeah. have taken care yeah, of cannot, it and we shall continue to, of course, sustain the pressure on the yeah. evil it's men it's and women it's who it's are behind it. But it's not true. なんて僕いつ持ってきたなるわ。ああ、いいね、こう見てよ。で、カフカフなってこう。けど、パンディアンは。ああ、でもね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね
ಅಂತಿ ಆಗಿದ್ದ ಅದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ನಾವು and god bless you i'm going to messenger now can you hear me call our messenger good evening from here welcome to the program good evening mazu chamafo good evening from here welcome to the program go ahead please yeah my name is namde lemchi i'm calling from finland mazu chamafo i want to thank you to say yeah, the finland the finland don't come bunu di tetanu la unu <laughs> okay, go ahead, please. <laughs> no, as you have said, you know, for since this since all those days, you know, we never call for for they you know because of situation here, because of work. We do work here. Finland is all about working, working every day, the day and night, you know. But uh, but right, always, thank you very much. Are, Finland is formidable. Go ahead, please. Yeah, we are still connected in everything, you know. No matter that we don't call, but we are doing everything in our own. So, Mazi, right, good evening, I'm, right. and I greet you all, dear friends, all over the world. Uh, my name is Namde Lemke. I hail from Isia Lambano. Isia Lambano is in uh, Imo State. Uh, my issue that I want to chip in this night uh, is concerning the about those stupid people who went and leaked a video of our director. No? They think that they are so wise by doing such a stupid thing. But they don't know that before, as they leak this video, they are making us more popular because we have already gone past this level. And they, quite all right, they should know that with this this video they leak, now this is the last battle they have fought. They will not have any other battle again to fight for us. Then they, are, they should they, wait and they see our the own. Thing, the, thing is, the thing is that the result, the impact, their aim, they did not achieve. He went contrary to yeah. what they wanted. Yeah, and exactly. it is Because... once again another lesson to saboteurs and our detractors that IPOB yeah. cannot be stopped. We are irresistible and we remain formidable any day, any time. Exactly. Because they have tried every human impossible to stop IPOB. They have gone to try to kill our director in his house. They did not succeed. They have done everything. They have killed a lot of IPOB members in other ways to stop this uh, struggle. They did not stop it. And now, uh, they think that this one is that you let them know they should know that this is a very this is a very small thing. And the, you will leak a video of a, a man and his wife. Then what, what is big deal? That is his wife. And which every man can do whatever he likes with his wife. So if they know that their own wife is beautiful, they should bring out their own wife. Let us see. Now they have made Biafra, all of us have bring out our wife and show to them. So let them bring their own wife and show us now because they are not proud of their own wife. And we told those are also full and uh, some of all those useless uh, people in Biafra and who's also joining them and talking bullshit. I guess. But in the due time, Mas, when Biafra come, those babies are uh, babies are two in Biafra land. They are going to face the road of the Biafrans because all these things, we are counting all of them and we are marking them one by one. When the time comes, all of them will face the judgment. That is what I want to say this night. Thank you. God bless you, Mazi Chamafo. Thank you very much. God bless you too. And keep it on. This is where the Biafra presentation. Uh, somebody on Facebook is saying we are not, uh, is he saying we are not producing quality music and all that. We want to uh, use the opportunity to educate and enlighten that person that this is not an FM uh, music studio for avoidance of doubt if we want to be playing music we know what to do this is a talk radio station dedicated for the ultimate restoration of the land of biafra it is biafra 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 whatever music we play is for interlude purposes and this is not we are not doing dj work here we are serious about ultimate restoration of biafra we say more important things than music music is second important thing on our list and this is not a musical radio station this is a one issue radio station and dedicated to the ultimate restoration of biafra 
and we stand for total defense of human rights and fundamental freedom. That is why we are indigenous people of Biafra. And Biafra shall be restored in our lifetime. Can you hear me? Call on the phone. Hello? Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Hello? Yeah, good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Go ahead, please. Thank you. Good evening from here. Go ahead. Okay. We have fans all over the world. My name is Kobuchi from Thank you very much. Okay. You gave me a resolution to share on air through this medium. We do be a video. Let go ahead, sir. Yes, by all means, go ahead. On Tuesday morning, 9th of April, 2019, during my prayer time, the revelation came. As I was praying, I came to a point. I prayed and said, to go to Kikadiam, let all the genuine IPOD family members all over the world and also bless genuine Christians all over the world. Immediately I said this, Chukoke opened my spiritual eyes. I then saw two giants in the sky, far above the human being on earth, hanging parallel to each other. When I saw them, I recognized one as a leader, Mazunam Dekam, while the other one I did not recognize. But a voice told me that that one was Yahweh Yeshua, known as Jesus Christ in English. I also saw two separate groups. One group was under our leader, Mazunam Dekam, known as IPOG, which means indigenous people of Biafra. And the other group under Yahweh Yeshua, known as the Christian. There was too much light surrounding the two groups separately, but the one of Yahesha was complete, while the one of Alida was incomplete. The message given to me about the different sites, that is the one complete, and the one incomplete was that. Yahesha came into the world and finished the work, Chukoki, at the Amasenti, that is his death on the Calvary tree, and left. Therefore, by so doing, has attained complete glory. And this complete light on the side of our leader means he has not attained complete glory because the affirmation has not emerged yet. As I watched, I saw all the Christians on the side of Asia move over to the side of IPU and meet up with them so that some could be identified with it. Immediately that happened, Yahesha was lifted up above our leader, Mazinam Bekam. The leader was under him. Both of them formed a complete church line towards heaven. The message given to me about Yahesha being lifted above our leader was that Yahesha has remained the greatest high priest ever lived, and our leader followed. Then the message about Christians defecting to IPO was that when Jephthah nation imagined, there shall be no more Christianity in the world because Shukwokite will introduce one religion through our leader, Mahajin Namdekam, and only through this religion religion, these people must worship him sincerely. That was the revolution. God said I should end it on this religion. Thank you, sir. Good night. Thank you very much. This is really be a further presentation. We are moving forward. The most I go in charge. And uh, incidentally, we will, of course, the winding down at uh, this particular point in time after this 102 calls. Can you hear me? Caller on the phone. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. 
Hello, sir. My deputy director, good evening, sir. Good evening from here. Go ahead, please. My name is Ifan Ijoma. I'm calling you right now from Anambra State, or Nature, precisely. My deputy director, I want to thank you for the good work which IPOB is doing to all of us. And I want to thank you for my, my, my spring leader, Mazenan Dukukalo, the man that, that rejects everything offered by the Nigerian government in order to set his, his people free, in order to carry his people back, back home. I want to thank him for the encouragement for the boldness, for everything he has rejected in order to carry us, carry us come back home. I want to also thank all the whole IPOB members all over the world. And also, more especially, I want to thank our, 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 so, I, I pray may God Almighty protect all of them and guide every one of us. We are going home, no going back. Mazi, good night, sir. Thank you very much, and God bless you. And uh, keep it on. This is where there'll be a further presentation. We are inching closer to ending this program, and in no time we shall begin to descend. Can you hear me? Call on the phone. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Good evening, Mazi. For my supreme deputy. Good evening from here. Go ahead, please. Thank you, sir. Idiom Mendia is on the line. Mendia, thank you very much. Go ahead, please. Thank you very much, sir. Idiom Mendia happened to come from Idianga in Arawanam local government, Anam province. For people that still want to know who is Idiom Mendia. Tonight, I am very grateful to you, sir, for this great opportunity given to me to express myself once again to the genuine people of indigenous people of Biafra. I am very glad and happy that I belong to this very family. I'm not just a Biafran, but I am a member of indigenous people of Biafra. And it's a very great opportunity to me. And I am also happy that I born in this very generation. I didn't born in a generation that I will be tell that people will tell me stories. Because I have discovered that in this very struggle, there are so many stories that we will tell our unborn children and they will not believe us because they will not believe that such a thing can ever happen to humanity. So I am happy that I, I am in this very generation and I see everything by myself. I want to tell the people that is listening to us tonight the reason why Nigeria will be totally destroyed. Our leader, Martin Namdekan, have nearly finished his work. Now, Nigeria is going to be destroyed. They will destroy themselves with one object. Many people were arrested, kidnapped, adopted because they listened to Radio Biafra. Many people were arrested, adopted, kidnapped, and killed because they have Radio Biafra apps in, on their phones. Nigerian government fought a lot, spent a good sum of money to destroy Radio Biafra. But now, even in Asurok, Nigeria government is listening to Radio Biafra, the same channel that they that they spend everything they have to destroy, the same channel that they kill people and spread people blood that people should not listen to. Today, they are listening to Radio Biafra, even in Asurok. They are downloading our apps into their systems. And why Radio Biafra? The spirit behind Radio Biafra will destroy them is this. They are not only listening to Radio Biafra, but when our leader broadcast, they their pens and their paper and take note of the broadcast. Then they will return as if as 
what our leader is saying is not true, or they, they doesn't have anything to do with their government. They are learning then every day. They are weeks, learning. Yes. Then after some weeks or some months, they would come out with that very statement that our leader made. They would try to implement as if as they are the people making that statement. They will not tell their full followers, the foolish citizens, that from what Namdekano said, this is true. They will claim as if as uh, they know it, but they, they, they will did it. When Atiku. It is came essentially, off, it is essentially the policies and ideology of Namdekano that they are using, you know, so that they will appear very effective in the eyes of their fellow zoo animals. When Atiku came to contest the election, our leader speak against Buari Jibrin, that the man in Asurok is Jibrin. Atiku had it. He said to him to say, what Namdekano is saying is true. He made a statement that he cannot contest election with a foreigner. And as if as uh, they, they didn't say it, as if as they didn't say it, that one goes. Now they came up and said that this man called Atiku is from Cameroon. Nigerian government keeps silent as if as they don't hear it. Now they come up and say Atiku is from Cameroon. Who tells you that Atiku is from Cameroon? If not Nam they are They listen to Radio Biafra, the same Radio Biafra that they keep people. They carry our transmitter so that we will not broadcast so that people would not listen to Radio Biafra. They carry our transmitter and pack it somewhere. They, they download Radio Biafra apps. Even in Asura, they listen to our radio. That very spirit that did not allow them to destroy Radio Biafra will destroy Nigeria completely. You see? Nigeria will totally be destroyed with, through that very spirit. Because I could still remember what Namdekano said in The Twitter same weapon they use against us will turn around and destroy them. They will fall victim of that particular weapon that they are using against the people of Biafra. Our supreme leader in 2014 challenged humanity worldwide, not Nigeria. He said that he doesn't know who is Nigeria. He challenged humanity worldwide when they attempt to block our first uh, face of uh, Biafra. He give them two weeks. That after two weeks, the two faces will be emerged. And if any human being, if you call yourself that you were born by a woman, try and block these very two faces. From there, you will know that you did not send by Chico with Kadiyama. Right from that 2014 to today, the terrorists, we can kill them, we can't do anything, but they first, the highest form from above will destroy them. And we will stay and see the end of the zoo called Nigeria. I am very doubt of one thing. Marcy, please don't permit me to see this, please. I am very doubt of one thing. I am always asking myself, how did Namdekano take time to select people, even his wife? How did he take time to select these calibers of people that he is working with? Even the, the saboteurs, he took time to select these 11 saboteurs. He knows that they will go out because they are coming that they used to do by then. He selected them so that they will go out and form their groups and start what they are doing. And he selected the right one. Just only there is the man that always marvels me. How did Nandikan make his selection? From there, I know that this man is being sent from Chukwuke Kabiyama. And I am ready for him to get the hundred men that he is looking for. Then Biafra will come. No other thing. He is still on that selection. People say, do this for us. Give us that for this. Girl. We should be praying for Chukwuke Kabiyama to give him the knowledge, to give him that hundred men fast so that we can get ourselves. Because that is the program he has at hand now. Thank you, Mazi Uchemen, for, for giving me this opportunity. The Chukwu Rikabiyama bless the Afroland, bless all IT, will be faithful. And bless our leader, Mazi Namdekano, and his family. <laughs> Bye, sir. He say, he say, thank you very much, and bless you too. This is Radio Biafala presentation. Incidentally, this is where we end in this program. We thank you, Eminent Biafra fans, for having participated, for having Rob Brines together. Indeed, it is time to go. We continue 
to implore the most high God to continue to renew us, to continue to revive us. And more importantly, may he give us every enablement to restore Biafra from me, from here, this is the chairman for at this particular point in time sign off. Thank you very much. Good night and God bless.